Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is Arlene once again. I just want to share a couple things about gouges, okay? These are, this one was quite expensive. This is about a half an inch wide. It's got a little bit of a curvature to it, as you can see here, all right? Just a tad. You can see it just goes uh, around a little bit here. And what I've done, um, uh, they're not hard to sharpen. You just put them on a stone um, or on this block that I told you how to create before in a couple of videos ago. And you can sweep it back and forth, you know, sweep it back and forth and then take it to a strop that usually hones them up and keeps them in good shape. The same thing holds true with the gouge, I believe, as it does with the knife. If I could show you this once again, that this portion right here should be flat okay there should not be a bubble there if it there's a bubble there it's not going to cut correctly just like it was on the knife segment that I told you on uh, about the secrets of sharpening number two it talks about that little bulge you don't want that to be um, you don't want that to be bulging okay because then it's going to roll off your your carving as you cut all right so what I wanted to show you today is um, I'm I told you I wouldn't come back until I had the other side corrected and what I'm doing is I'm trying to show you how you can cut this okay with this uh, if it's especially in the hard uh, hard to reach places this one ran me around twenty two dollars at a show and uh, they're not cheap this is a Ramelson and I bought a whole um, a whole kit and this was done by somebody at Harmon um, uh, USA. I bought that in a kit for about $12, for $15, maybe 20 some years ago. They're very expensive today. They run you, oh, probably $30 or $40 probably for a kit. Um, but, you know, buy the ones you need. A lot of times I buy a kit and I only use three or four maybe out of the whole kit and two of them I never touch. So if you're really tight on money, just buy what you need. Uh, you don't need to buy everything under the sun. When you find a project like this one and you need something to to help you create it, um, then you go buy that tool, you know, and then that tool becomes handy and you learn how to use it and you can use it in future projects. Okay, it is important to wear your glove when you're doing this project because of the, the odd way, it's, especially if you're slicing it with a knife. Um, Sometimes I put that on 90% of the time I don't because I'm not comfortable with it. I'm comfortable without it, but I've been at it much longer. <laughs> I've been at it for 28 years. So, and plus teaching, it's much easier for me to show you without the glove. So what I'm going to show you here right now is what we'll do is we're going to pre-cut this, just like we talked about on the first video, okay? We're going to pre-cut this. And I'm going to show you how this little gouge works, okay? And uh, I'm going to just do this quickly. I should have done this before the tape was running, but oh well. Live and learn, I guess. Um, okay, so what you want to do is take your gouge, and I'll see if I can get a nice close up video of this for you. Um, what you want to do is you want to take your gouge and you want to just sliver it. You know, you don't want to, if you go in too far, you're going to start ripping, like, watch this. You'll start ripping that. See how it's not cutting it completely right there? That's what happens if you go in too deep. You just want to take it a little bit at a time, okay? See how I'm holding it? Let me see if I can show you this. See how I'm holding this just like this, okay? You have it in the palm of your hand, okay? I have it choked up a little bit here. And I'm using my wrist. I'm not using my arm. I'm using my wrist in, in the carving itself. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just putting a little pressure on it with my wrist, not so much with my arm, okay? Just like it would be with a knife. And see how I'm just cutting that out a little bit at a time here? You don't have to take big chunks out. I think a lot of times with the accidents, we're taking off too much or trying to do too much at one time, or we're in a rush. So, you know, you sliver a piece out here and there, and then take it out, and then up here, uh, okay, see how nice and clean that is? All right, if your knife is nice and sharp and it's clean and it's and it's sharpened correctly, it'll be a pleasure to work with. 
I don't do this a lot, but if it's in tight areas like this, then I will use a, a gouge like this. So I just wanted to share that with you. So remember, folks, um, you know, you can get these at a carving shop anywhere. I have different sizes. I have um, uh, a few uh, regular chisel type ones and a few gouges, and I have a V-tool. Somewhere around here I have a V-tool that I don't use very often. They're very hard to sharpen. Um, and I wouldn't recommend that for the beginner unless you're really um, looking forward to doing something like that. So this is apparently this is a number three. So um, of the uh, Ramelson. So <clears throat> if you're interested in purchasing one of that, one of the supply houses, I'm sure can get one for you. I just find it a little handier because of the sweep that's in here. It's not completely flat. Uh, it looks flat, but it's not. It's got a little bit of a curvature to it you know um, you can probably not see that as well as I can you can see it there okay and um, they come in handy so be very careful and also you can also uh, do some carving with this I, and like I like I said before I do little little chunks at a time I don't do big big chunks you don't want to do more than what the tool can handle okay you know this is probably a little easier to do than with a knife because of the odd shape this thing is but um, they do come in handy um, you know I'm, like I said I, I usually like the knife better but there are occasions when you will use one of these and just use, buy what you need folks uh, don't go don't go crazy unless you, you can afford to um, but enjoy it and try it out and you know you'll have to go with the grain if you go the opposite way with it it's not going to work okay see I'm, I'm pushing on it and I can't get it. So it's the same concept as with a knife. You have to go with the grain. Alright, so that's your tip for the day and we'll keep going. I'll come back when both wings are cut out where we're ready to start. Keep going with the project. Okay folks, catch you next time. Bye-bye.